Hello everyone, in this lesson we are going to start making our game a multiplayer game. The first thing we need to do in order to use Unit Multiplayer features is activating the multiplayer service in the editor. So you go here to the services tab, then we select multiplayer. This will require you to log in with your Unit account and set the number of players per room in the game. I've already done this, so this is my configuration. I'm going to use uh, two players by, per room. And then in our case, you can go to the dashboard and configure your multiplayer settings. Now, we are going to create the network manager, an object that will manage the multiplayer matches. We can do this by creating a new game object. So let's create a new empty object. Let's call it network object, network manager. And then we need to add a component to it called network manager this is a, a unit script uh, from the engine itself that manages the the network matches and here for example we can set the maximum match size to two as well we are also going to add another component here which will be the network manager hud this hud will appear on the screen showing the multiplayer game options you can run the game to see how it looks so let's run it here as you can see, we have options like LAN host, LAN client, LAN server only, and enable matchmaker. This allows us to create and join games. In the end, in the end of the course, we are going to create our own buttons to create and join matches and not using these ones, because uh, the network manager HUD is intended only for testing and not to release your game. But it will work for now, because we are still testing the game. Before moving on, I would like to explain how multiplayer works in Unity. In Unity, multiplayer games don't have a dedicated server. Instead, an, a Unit multiplayer game starts with a host. This host is a game client that also acts as a server. So when the first player starts creates a match, it will create it will start the game as a host. So it will have the client and it will have the server. Then, when new, when new clients are created, they are attached to the host game session. So you will have three clients and they are in the same session of the host. What happens in practice is that the game content is replicated through all the clients. So for example, if you have only one, uh, only, only the host, we have the server and the client and the, the objects will be replicated in both sessions, in both the client and the server. In this case, we have, for example, the ship for this player. If another client joins, we have all the content replicated through all the, the sessions. So we have the both ships in the server and in both clients. These include uh, objects and scripts and all their component behaviors. So for example, if you have a script to move the ship, this script will run in all the clients. So what we need to do now in our game is telling the network manager that our ship prefab is the player prefab. So here we go to the spawn info and select here. The player prefab, we need to select the the ship prefab so let's select the ship but if you simply try to drag and drop here it won't work and you give us this error here uh, player prefab must have a network identity that's because we need to go to the ship prefab and add another component to it called network identity this is the id of the the player inside the a multiplayer game and now we can add it as the the prefab from the, the as the player prefab. So let's go to the network manager and let's drag and drop the ship there again. Okay. In order to test our game, we need to open two instances of the game, one for each client. But we can do so in the unit editor. In the unit editor, we can only play one instance. So what, what we need to do is build in the game so that you can open one instance outside the editor. So for example, you go here to file, build and run and then build and run again it will ask for a name of the executable file for example space shooter and then it will build the, the game and run for us then we can run the other instance in the editor so here I have a window with the other game instance I'm going to start one in the editor as well Here it is. One of them I start as a host. 
actually we need to remove the other ship from the from the game scene first so let's go to the game scene I'm going to close this let's go to the the game scene and let's remove the ship here because it will be automatically created by the the manager the network manager and now let's build the game again and let's run an instance here in the editor Okay, now I start one as the host, this is the first object, and here I'm going to start as the client. Notice that this created another ship, but the, the, the new ship is in the same position as the first one. And if you try moving it, we are, we are moving both the ships at the same time, because the movement script is replicated. So here we have the movement script for both ships, and we're moving both of them. And also notice that the movement here is not synchronized in both the screens. If you go here and move it here, it's not synchronized with the other client as well. We need to fix those issues. And that's what we are going to do in the next lesson.